Hey guys, welcome to Planning with Crystal. So today's review is all about the Sephora Action Camera. This is a Sephora model SF530 and it was kindly sent to me in exchange for an honest review. So I've taken this on holiday. I'm gonna show you some footage I've actually taken on the camera from right now and also from on holiday, you know, underwater with the fishes. I tested it out in Florida and to be honest, just right off the bat, I'm going to say I was really impressed with this, this camera because of the price point. I kind of didn't expect much of it because of the price point, but actually I have to say it was much better than expected. So the camera does retail at $89.99 in the UK. It's actually on special offer at the moment with 30% off. And at the time of making the video, it retails at $62.99, which obviously just makes the value even better. It comes with a whole host of accessories. Some I used more than others. There's also videos and things that show you exactly how to assemble all the accessories and use them for all the different purposes. The accessories allow you to attach the camera to bikes, helmets, it has a waterproof case, it has a remote control, the camera comes with two batteries plus a couple of different charging options. So lots and lots of great accessories and things come with it. Like I said, this review is mainly going to be about telling you the basics and also telling you about what comes with the camera. The camera is a 4K camera. I'm going to put all the technical specs and things underneath the video. I'm going to insert a little video here. We're going to have a quick look at the camera including measurements and a little bit of a tour of the camera. So here is the camera. On the front here we've got a one and a quarter inch screen. On the back here we have got a two inch rear screen. At the top you've got your power and mode button and the OK button. There's also a Wi-Fi indicator. We've got up and down buttons. The top one also controls Wi-Fi and the down button also controls the speaker. There are some little indicator lights that will come on here. One is a working indicator, the other is a charging indicator, all of which of course becomes much clearer when you're actually charging. We've got our micro USB port. We have got a micro HDMI port. There's also a microphone here and you've also got your card slot. On the bottom of the camera is where the battery goes. That's what it looks like and it just kind of pulls out and slots into there. The camera does require a micro USB card. As with a lot of cameras, it doesn't actually come with the memory card. I will link it underneath. It's pretty inexpensive. You can use a micro memory card between 32 and 128 gigabytes. That's what's supported by this particular camera. The camera does have a touch screen on the back. You can do playback, all that kind of things. It also has Wi-Fi. There's an app you can download for free. It also has a waterproof case, which you can go down 40 meters with the case all of that worked perfectly for me it also has 170 degree fish eye lens on the front here a little bit like a selfie camera as well so the main accessories that i found particularly useful with this camera obviously the charging cable it doesn't come with a plug but it has got a kind of standard usb on one end and then the connector that goes into the camera is a micro USB. You can charge by connecting this to the camera and to either your computer or put a plug on it if you want to do it that way. And you can charge the battery directly inside the camera. It also comes with this additional little battery charger and a spare battery so you get two batteries you just slot them both into here obviously attach it with your wire and it'll charge two batteries at once so i found that all really handy the battery life seemed really good i was taking it in the sea i was in and out and just doing like little different shots and things and i had no issues with the battery at all the other thing i loved about this camera and the main kind of draw for me was the case that comes with it this makes it completely waterproof you just unclip it and pop the camera inside and then the way that this is designed you can use these buttons on the top to control those two top buttons and there's also side buttons as well and then at the bottom it's got um, a connector there so you can connect various things I'll show you what I used to do my filming in just a second but I found it really good I had no issues with it apart from of course when you put a case on it because the camera itself isn't waterproof until you put it inside the case it kind of muffles the microphone so you would need maybe an additional waterproof microphone I personally that wasn't an issue for me because I was filming a lot of kind of underwater things and it didn't matter to me that it didn't have the sort of sound very clear um, so yeah so all that worked out for me one additional thing I purchased and found really really useful got this off Amazon as well is this little waterproof tripod it comes in different colours if you don't like the blue and it also has a wrist strap so I put my ha hand through that and hold this and this was waterproof so it just kind of floats along if you let go of it anyway and this is what I used for all my shots I'm just going to show you what the camera looks like actually attached to this like I said the camera did come with lots and lots of different accessories and you know all of that seemed really good but I just needed a handheld 
tripod. So just attach that to there. So like I said, this did not come with the camera. It was an additional purchase, but it was only $8.99. And I can recommend it. It just made the whole experience really easy. I felt really secure with the camera, like it wasn't gonna go anywhere when I was filming with it. And it really helped me feel like I had a bit more kind of control on it as well. So I'm not gonna go into too much more detail about the camera. I'm just gonna show you some footage that I filmed with it, which hopefully you can see from that footage, the sort of result you can expect from this camera. I was just shooting during the daytime with it. Like I said, there's no sound because the sound is really just underwater noises and a little bit of distortion almost so yeah so I've left that out it does come with a manual like this but I personally found for the accessories that the instructional online videos were a lot more useful to me maybe just the way my brain works and what works best for me but I will link that video underneath so if you do get the camera and you want to know what all the accessories do how to use them they explain it better than I can so this is the camera in action so you can hear a little bit of sound as well it's super lightweight and it's got screens on both sides and now here's the underwater footage. enjoyed watching this video it wasn't intended to be like an instructional video on how to use all the features of the camera I haven't used them all myself but this is just to sort of show you what it's like using it on holiday just having a bit of a go with it as somebody who doesn't actually know a right lot about cameras and I feel like I've got some really nice underwater shots and I was really really happy with it so let me know in the comments what you think of this camera if it's something you'd be interested in like I said it is on offer as of right now but even at full price it's a pretty good deal for what I think this camera can do let me know what you think in the comments. So I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up. It lets me know you're enjoying the content I'm producing. And I'd love it if you'd subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell to be notified when my next video goes live. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.